When should you incorporate heavy singles into your training? Find out in today's Q&A. Hey everyone, Solon here from Wind Strength, where the goal of the channel is to help you get a little bit stronger every single day. Thanks for clicking on another 5 Minute Friday Q&A, where I attempt to answer your questions in under 5 minutes. Uh, today's question is pretty cool. It's pretty much asking when should you incorporate heavy singles? Uh, coming from a powerlifting background, having trained that for the last couple of years, I think it's a great question to ask and I think it's highly I think it can help everybody uh, get better in their training no matter what your goals are. So if you have your own question, make sure to drop a comment below and I can get to that in a future video. So let's start that timer. So I think incorporating heavy singles is can be beneficial to anybody's style of training, uh, kind of no matter what you're doing. Uh, I am coming from that powerlifting background, so I am slightly biased in my recommendations for incorporating heavy singles into your training. Uh, but I do think they can help anybody uh, with their training no matter what their goals are not necessarily to train all year round uh, but maybe incorporate a season of heavy singles in your training and this is why i think you should incorporate heavy singles uh, first off it'll if you want to improve you want to at max strength there's no ways around it you're going to have to incorporate heavy singles just because strength is specific uh, it even gets uh, more specific like if you want to get stronger in your one rep max squat like low bar back squat and you can't do a front squat to help train the back squat you really just need to do back squats for heavy singles develop that skill develop that technique and that uh, mindset of how to execute a heavy single lift because it's far different from executing a heavy set of tens uh, a heavy single just takes a different style of lifting and it's gonna help train you to handle those heavier weights um, increasing your one rep max strength will have some carry over to your strength in uh, other rep ranges uh, to a degree. I know I just said strength is specific, uh, but by building up that heavy single strength, you are helping to increase that overall uh, force capacity that your body has. So someone that can uh, bench press 400 pounds is going to find bench pressing 135 pounds for reps very easy. Uh, than someone training specifically 135 pounds for reps. You're building up kind of this excess capacity uh, that you can tap into when you're working in at lower weights. Uh, it can also help establish uh, training volume for the day. Uh, so for example, a common way to train heavy singles is to work up to your heavy single at an RPE 8. Uh, if you don't know what RPE is, check out this video where I explain uh, rate of perceived exertion as well as reps in reserve. Uh, but work up to a heavy single at, a, at an RPE range, generally 8. Um, and then what you do is you'll back off, maybe take 5 to 10% off of that heavy single weight and that's how you can uh, work in your volume training. So it gives you a way to auto-regulate stress over the course of the week. Um, if you're feeling particularly fatigued or stressed or your body hasn't recovered that well, your heavy single at 8 is going to be significantly less than, you were, than if you were training in perfect conditions. Uh, that heavy single at 8 is then a barometer for the rest of your training for that day. So that's a another reason why you should incorporate heavy singles into your training. Uh, the next one is that it'll give you a long-term benchmark for performance. Uh, obviously, it's just one data point, but having that in the analysis of data of your performance over the years of lifting, uh, this is just a great way to benchmark performance again. Um, I like to benchmark my one rep max strength after each strength template phase that I do. So that's probably once or twice a year I'll be testing my one rep max, my true one rep max uh, strength levels but over the course of the training season uh, each week you're ideally looking to increase that uh, training single so that you're building up that strength tolerance uh, and then I've explained why you should do it secondly I just want to wrap up with explaining when you shouldn't do it um, if you're purely focused in hypertrophy uh, it's probably not going to be the most efficient way to build muscle size uh, just because when you build heavy strength uh, you are developing a lot more neural adaptations and motor learning patterns as well as that technical efficiency of the lift. Uh, and again, hypertrophy training does come down to volume and time under tension, other, two, other more pertinent variables in your training. So trying to get a heavy single is really not going to be that efficient in driving the body to increase the size of the muscles. Um, if you compete in other sports and it's the season of play, 
it's probably not another, that's probably a bad time to do heavy singles uh, just because the demands of the sport are going to be very high during that time of the year. Um, heavy single training is quite uh, taxing on the body just because of that load management and that stress that uh, total stress on the body that you're receiving. And because you are already stressing the body quite a lot with uh, your whatever sport that may be, um, if you're in season, that's probably not gonna be the best time to do it. Look at somewhere uh, off season to do this or at the start of off season, preferably. Um, and finally, if you're a complete novice, I mentioned before, probably not the best idea to do heavy singles. I'm not a fan of prescribing uh, novices to do heavy singles just because that technique isn't ingrained there. It's not a, a learned motor pattern just yet. So you're still learning the movements. I don't think the benefits outweigh the costs for a complete novice to be performing heavy singles, especially when you start pushing towards those like RPE nines and then training to failure almost with those heavy singles. So hopefully that helps you with your training in the future. Uh, if you've gotten some value out of the video, please consider clicking that like button down below. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Uh, this has been Selwyn from Windstrength and remember to never stop learning and to never stop lifting.